Hello, vendors. Welcome to another session of learning. It's time to learn all about the best of Restaurant Portal towards your self-serve journey. Now, in this webinar, ipapakita natin ang short refresher of the Restaurant Portal as well as tips and tricks on how to be top-performing vendors and how to reach out to us. Now, before we begin, If you've got any feedback, a short survey will be sent out to you at the end of this session. So this will be very helpful in um, letting us know what you think of this webinar. And of course, if you've got any more um, ideas or interesting topics that you'd like us to review, um, please let us know and we hope to cover it in the future. Now, next, if you have a question, feel free lang po to submit it in the chat. So the chat will be found at the side if you're using your browser or some mobile devices ninyo, it will be at the bottom. So yeah. Next, if you're interested in learning more naman, if you want to read out, read more about the topics we've discussed here, you may also head on over to university by the restaurant portal. Now, I am Clarissa Calvo, Vendor Engagement Specialist for Food Panda Philippines, and I hope you enjoy this topic for today. Now, our agenda, we will go through a short introduction of the restaurant portal. This will be followed by the self-serve tools, next, growth tools, and lastly, how to reach out to us when you want assistance with your invoices. Now, for the introduction into the world of Food Panda, let's learn all about the mighty restaurant portal. So spoiler alert, the restaurant portal is a one-stop site that you can visit. It has everything that you need to run your business with Food Panda. Kasi andun yung pagmanage ng menu, menu ninyo, andun yung pagmanage ng reports, as well as your invoices, and of course, yung mga tools to help you grow in Food Panda. And how do we access it? I'm pretty sure most of the vendors here have access to it already or know where to access it. But for those who haven't checked their emails, you may just search for Welcome to Restaurant Portals. That is the email subject that we have. So just search for that and you will see this email right here. Now there you will see a button that says set password. So pag kin lick po ninyo yan, you will just set your password with your email address and then you're ready to go and use your restaurant portal. And if not naman, you would like to access the portal directly, you can also click on open restaurant portal or go to foodpanda.portal.restaurant and that's where you can log in. What if you can't find the email? Fret not. Kasi, if you need help, all you can do is just reach out to our partner support team or alternatively visit yung restaurant portal directly. So that's foodpanda.portal.restaurant and then click on forgot password under the login button. So that's where you can reset your password and easily log in to restaurant portal. This is also helpful for those who have already accessed it, pero nakalimutan yung password. So now that you've settled that, you have access to everything na in Restaurant Portal. Now, what do I mean by everything? So what is the Mighty Restaurant Portal all about? So number one dyan, sa spoiler na sinabi ko, is yung growth tools natin. So this is where you can grow your business in Food Panda. So aside from, syempre, we need to understand why branding matters, so kahit na important yung exposure natin in social media, important din na may exposure tayo sa Food Panda. In fact, branding is what sets you apart from your competitors. That's why we have growth tools. As humans, kasi syempre, um, we eat with our eyes first. So here, in the, in the portal, you can upload photos that can draw the attention of your customers. Aside from that, we have all-arounded marketing and exposure that will make a memorable experience for your customers. Like, so I've mentioned growth tools, you can set promos or deals for your restaurant. Now next, we have university. Ito yung mentioned ko earlier. We have educational content to improve and optimize your business. So syempre, it's not enough to attend webinars. You can also read up some guides that we have in the portal. And of course, hindi lang ito yung, port, yung webinar na ma-attendan ninyo. We also have other webinars available. Now next, we are here for you. In the portal, we have help center. And that is where we have all of your issues and concerns escalated. And lastly, one-stop portal talaga siya. Everything here, it contains everything you need to understand your business as well as your performance and your metrics. Now, speaking of performance, let's move forward to 
getting familiar with your performance dashboard. This will help you understand your overall restaurant health. So, what is the restaurant health? Well, ito yung improvement ng restaurant ninyo. By understanding your health, this will maximize your restaurant's efficiency in store and in Food Panda. Secondly, you will get rewarded for your good performance. Siyempre, if you're a top-performing vendor, if you have a healthy restaurant, you will be promoted to customers in a swim lane. So that is the popular near you section. And lastly, siyempre, by learning all about your performance, you can maximize your earning potential then and find out order rejection reasons and how you can increase your conversion rate to avoid them in the future. Now, what does the vendor performance dashboard look like? So here it is, the sidebar. You can just click on vendor performance and you will see this. This is where you can identify areas of improvement and understand your operations, sales, and revenue metrics. So mostly sales and revenue metrics because um, we've recently moved the operations metrics to so reports tool, which will be discussed later on. So ito siya. Um, you can see ito yung vendor health check and yung customer ratings. And under that, you metrics ninyo. You can just click on the drop-down arrow to expand them. Now, over here, the so upper right side, you can adjust your time frame and toggle, um, toggle between outlets if you have multiples. So you click here, and then you will see all of your outlets. And this one, you have last seven days, this week, or current month to set them, or whether in custom time frame by clicking on the three dots. As I've mentioned, you outlet health check, you can check it here. Once you click on this, you will be able to see all of the metrics that needs improvement or maybe maintaining. So this is what it looks like. Understanding your overall restaurant health. So as I've mentioned earlier, as a sidebar, siya, you can click on vendor performance and then outlet health check the main dashboard. Upon clicking on outlet health check, you will see all of your key metrics, your overview to quickly identify areas of improvement. So this is where you can see your restaurant order rejection rate and your average restaurant acceptance time restaurant delay rate, as well as your photo coverage. So metrics that need improvement are highlighted in red and metrics that are great that you can maintain or improve if you want are highlighted in green. So kita dito na medyo hindi maganda yung health ng restaurant na, that we have here, the test vendor, kasi medyo mataas yung, um, order, medyo mataas yung order rejection rate niya, pero yung photo coverage niya is high, which 95% of their menu items have photos and descriptions. So if na maintain niyo na all green yan or maganda talaga yung health niyo, that means you will be rewarded as one of the top vendors in popular near you swim lane. Now, aside from metrics under vendor performance, we also have metrics under the reports tool. So this is where you can make precise um decision to grow your business. Under that, we have sales reports. So, syempre, you can see an overview of your daily sales figures and identify your sales trends. Yung sales by day, by hour, by menu item, and by delivery area. Next, we have operations reports, which is where you can get operational insights to help you make use of your time more efficiently. So, and then your order rejections, offline time, order delays, and your preparation time. Now, next we have the orders dashboard. You can also click on this on the sidebar. So this is what you will see. You can view your live orders and fast orders. So that there's your order ID, your outlet or restaurant, then your status, whether it's delivered or canceled, and of course, in date and time. Now up here, you can set your time frame kung when you want to see it, today, yesterday, or your custom, as well as which outlet you'd like to see or kung all outlets ba. Now, you can also export your data by clicking on this arrow that looks like a paper plane. You can export your data as an Excel file to your email. So by clicking on that, you will see this pop. You will see this pop up. Na you will receive the selected restaurant's orders. So just input your email address and then select um, new filter date, which will range up to seven days. Then click send. Now you can dive deeper sa mga orders ninyo. If you click on one of these, you will see yung order status. So here, yung overview ng order status, yung time 
order received, order accepted. So calculate din yung time it was prepared. When was it in delivery? And when was the order delivered to the customer? So this um, shows you the time taken to deliver the food and it has been calculated for you. So this will help you to better improve the process if needed lang naman. Then you will also see the order details down here as well as how much the order was. Next is our self-serve tools. Because self-serve is the way to go. First, gen yung menu management. So what do you do if you have an unavailable item? You can set this in store with your um, GoDroid device, but you can also set it sa mismong restaurant portal. So what if you have an unavailable item? Well, all you have to do is go to menu availability and then toggle to your desired menu category. Select the item that is unavailable and toggle the status accordingly to unavailable today or unavailable indefinitely. Bakit may dalawang option ng unavailability? So, pag unavailable today, it will set as yellow sa GoDroid. Means, today lang siya unavailable. And if unavailable indefinitely, it will be highlighted as gray. It will be unavailable until you set mo siya manually as available ulit. So let's say you have a side of french fries in every order. Tapos yung nagde-deliver ng french fries ninyo, sabi tomorrow pa yung delivery na stock. E wala na today. That means you have to set it as unavailable today para tomorrow pag na-deliver na yung french fries, automatic na siyang magiging available ulit. In the chance na madedeliver siya sa afternoon, so let's say sa morning open kay ng 9, tapos mamayang 1 pa madedeliver yung french fries, you can set it as unavailable indefinitely para you can just set it manually as available pag dumating na yung stock ng french fries. So that's how easy it is to set the status. So in this illustration, you can see it's a GoDroid shop, pero this is all about the restaurant portal. And as I've mentioned, you can also do this sa restaurant portal. And aside from that, you can do all of these. You can change some menu item, you can choice groups, you can category. Sa menu ninyo, you can add or edit it as many times as you want. Of course, syempre, um, changing up your listing banner photos as well as copying your menu to your other outlets and sorting and deleting menu items and choice groups means you have to request them. So here, we also have your request status where you can track it, where you can track them, and of course, get email notifications. Now, if you want to learn more or read more about um, menu management, we have guides for you. So I will give you a few seconds to scan this. So now that you've scanned the QR code, and if not, don't worry, you can visit university anytime the restaurant portal. I've mentioned kanina na you can submit requests. Actually, whenever you make changes sa menu ninyo, you will submit the request. Pero how can you track it? Well, it is easy to never miss a thing sa restaurant portal. So you can find your requests sa menu management. And it is uh, at the very bottom. So makita ninyo yung rejected, pending, and approved. Or pwede din naman clicking on your menu items mismo to check if na-approve na siya. Upon checking that, we have three types of request status. So, meron yung green, yellow, and red. So, green, syempre, approved siya. So, it is live and are reflected in real time na sa Food Panda. If pending pa siya, it will be marked as yellow kasi ni re review pa siya ng Food Panda team. And of course, if red, that means it's rejected and you have to improve your submission. So, you're more likely to get approved next time. Diba? So, a rejection reason naman will be provided. So, don't worry about that. Now, did you know that you can receive email notifications on your requests? Well, this is how you can activate your email notification. First, you go to Menu Management. Dito sa panel sa left side, you will see Email Notifications. Click on that and you will see um, this option. Just toggle it on. So when it turns blue, that means you can receive email notifications. So now that you know all about your menu management, syempre, you can't run your business without run without managing your opening times. If you're ready to check in, all you have to do is just open your restaurant to check in and start your day. Where what if early bird ka? Well, you also have the option to check in earlier and the countdown timer will appear till your opening hours begin. So pag sinet nyo siya ng 9 o'clock, tas nag-check in ka ng, let's say, 8.30,
you have 30 minutes pa to spare. And of course, number three, if you're not ready to check in, your store will remain closed until you're ready to check in. So that means you'll be offline sa Food Panda app. Aside from checking in and going offline, there are also um, ways to manage your restaurant. And that is setting your restaurant to busy. So if it's getting busy, you can just switch it to busy. So it will temporarily stop incoming orders. So naka-set siya as yellow. So pag, as usual, pag check-in nyo, green lang siya the whole time sa device. And if you're busy, it will be yellow. So this will temporarily stop incoming orders for 30 minutes. And you'll be prompted to check in ulit after 30 minutes. So close siya temporarily sa Food Panda app. And if you're getting way too busy, let's say may dine-in pa kayong minamanage, so syempre ang daming customers, ang daming orders na pumapasok, you can switch it to closed muna. Tem- Pero syempre, this is not automatic like yung busy. You can just switch it to closed to halt incoming orders or to syempre to close for the day. Now that we've learned all about the menu management tool and the opening times tool, it's time to grow with us. So in Food Panda, we have these growth tools that allow you to boost visibility, order rates, and of course, acquire a new customer base. Which panda is for you ba? Which panda is for you nga ba? So we have four growth tools that suit vari- various needs and budgets. This is just a short summary of the best of pandas. In Panda Promo, this is where you can boost sales and drive order volume. You will have this pink tag that has a percentage na, that will show na may discount kayo. Now, Panda Box naman, this will acquire new customers and create a bigger loyal fan base. Because this is a pop-up that appears once they click on restaurants or when they want to order from restaurants. Ito yung una nilang makikita sa app. And they will see your restaurant pag bago sila if they haven't ordered from you. And next, Panda Clicks naman, this will boost your brand visibility and reach more customers because you will be part of the top 10 all restaurants swim lane. So, magiging featured ka. You have a pink tag that says featured. And lastly, yung Panda Pro. This is premium. So, this will help you reach our top 10% customer base and drive order value. So, you also have the pink tag na may percentage, but it's higher. Higher yung discounts niya. So, yung top 10% customer base na yun, they are the high spenders. Kaya, they will definitely get drawn to seeing your pink tag. Now, if you want more information about growth tools, syempre, we have this QR code that you can scan again to refer to our guide. Once again, I will give you a few seconds to scan it and visit university. Now that you've scanned that, or if not, no worry, you can visit university. Now, let's... Proceed to the last part of our topic, which is also the most important, invoice and more. So we have this invoice uh, plugin in the restaurant portal where you can download your invoice. Pero siyempre, what if you need assistance in understanding it or in understanding it or reading it? This is where we come in. So all you have to do is visit Help Center and go to New Inquiry. Select Payment and Billing. Next, Invoice Concerns. And lastly, invoice request. Under invoice request, you will see three options. You can just choose the most amenable to you. So meron tayo 24-7 live support where you can get immediate assistance kasi this is a 24-hour live chat. Next, we have your phone call via callback. So a support specialist will contact you um, in a few hours, basta working days. And lastly, we have your email concerns natin where you have a more if you ever you have a more complicated issue you can fill up a form and within the day an agent will get back to you and once again if you want to read about your invoice and of course meron din about the billing cycle you can just scan this QR code because it will be in the university i will give you a few seconds again to scan this Once again, if you weren't able to scan this QR code, don't worry, it is all in university. Now, syempre, hindi lang naman lagi invoices and billing ang problem or concern natin in Food Panda. What if you want to reach us for other inquiries naman? All you have to do is 
log into your restaurant portal and look for help center. So this is the desktop view and this is the mobile tablet view. Just click on the three dots and you will see more options and see help center. After that, you can just select new inquiry and then you will see you will see all of the categories that you need help in. So just select. And if you can't find the category you need help with, just select general inquiry. And that's where you can file um, a ticket or submit the ticket to us. And you should hear from our agent in no time. Usually it's within the day, if not 24 to 48 hours. Actually, that's about it for our webinar for today. If you beaten not a webinar today, don't worry. We have other upcoming webinars that will deeply focus on the topics that we've discussed here. We have growth, we have many management, we have ops excellence. So just scan the, the QR codes here. Actually, one link lang yun yan. So you can just scan it and register. And don't worry, it's all free. And dito pa rin siya sa go to webinar. And we have here our useful links. So if you want to visit Restaurant Portal now, right away, just scan this QR code. Because again, this is your one-stop platform to understand and manage your business ops. And earlier, if you weren't able to scan the QR code to subscribe to our Viber channel, just scan this QR code now. And of course, in university, we have a QR code here that you can so you can visit it easily. And if you're not into reading, you want to watch more guides and tutorials, just scan the QR code here for our university YouTube channel. And once again, thank you vendors for joining us for today. Thank you. And I hope you've learned so much in this webinar. And sana magamit niyo yung restaurant portal to its full potential. Thank you once again and have a nice day.